This is Edouard Vignal from Ocean Independence. Today, we are anchored off Saint-Tropez and we're gonna show you this 2007 Bagliette of 43 meter Anamia. What's very special about this boat is the fact that she has only one owner since new and she was refitted in 2018. The refit included a lot of technical maintenance, new paints on the steel hull and aluminum superstructure. And therefore she presents in immaculate condition. Come on board and uh, let's have a viewing. So starting here on the main deck, this is where you would be usually greeted by the crew and start your day on board. You can already sense what is so special about this boat, which is space. She's 43 meter length and 8.9 meter beam with more than 420 degrees tonnage. And so you can really feel the volume on this huge aft and uh, space here on board. To the aft here, down these stairs, you have an access to the swim platform and the transom which opens up to reveal a garage for the tender, jet skis, all the water toys that you need. And it's really one of the favorite parts of the charter guest and the owner. She's actually been in our charter fleet for quite some time now, and she's been very successful and very popular with the charter guests. Uh, and that's one of the main reasons for it. Up on the main deck aft here, we have uh, this uh, social area for, uh, that can accommodate up to eight guests uh, for dining, lunch, breakfast. Uh, very comfortably and also you have entertainment and security system and from here we have an access to the main salon so here we are now in the main deck salon as you can see uh, this boat was uh, built by baglietto in 2007 and designed by francesco pascalski one of the most famous uh, yacht designers from the past uh, two or three decades she has a very timeless interior with a combination of dark wood, light carpet and uh, panels. Here we have a piece of history with uh, some old school arcade video game. Here you have storage for uh, wine cooler and fridge. And I would like to add on Baglietto that it's one of the oldest uh, and famous Italian shipyard. They've been existing for more than 150 years. They are still a very active and successful uh, shipyard to, and you can tell from this boat why is that the case. Further on, we have here the dining area separated by this furniture which hides a flat screen TV. And here you have dining socializing area uh, for 10 people at least uh, with large uh, TV here. Port side, of course, uh, the crew access and starboard accommodation area. So here we have a day head on the main deck. Here an access to the exterior of the yacht. Forward this way, we have an access to the uh, owner's cabin and accommodation. But first, let's take a look at the guest cabins this way. So here we are now on the lower deck. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the cabin. Let me show you one of the double cabin here. Very nice space with end street bathroom as the rest of the other cabins, uh, entertainment system, portholes. Anamia has two double cabins and two twin cabins that can convert into uh, triple thanks to the Pullman beds. That's really important to insist on the fact that this yacht is perfect for charter. For a new buyer, uh, this would be uh, an extremely successful uh, yacht on the charter market uh, because of the accommodation, because of the volume. And of course, Anamia is fully commercial and registered as such. Uh, we, we, we have a, a good already experience with Anamia on the charter market uh, with repeated clients. Now, let's head up to the master cabin. So here we are back on the main deck. Here we have an access for the crew, here uh, storage. And now we're entering uh, the master cabin area with first an office. So what's interesting is that this owner is uh, using the boat a lot throughout the year. And so he's uh, using this space uh, as well for uh, his personal uh, business. Here you have some storage with uh, closets. So here we are now in the full beam master cabin. Incredible space for a 43 meter. As you can see, we have a huge walk-in closet here 
could fit a gym. TV and uh, entertainment system, more storage, and here vanity with a beautiful view. Finally, we have the ensuite bathroom with a hot tub, his and hers, and uh, the shower which has a hammam function, and of course toilet here. So now, let's uh, have a look at the Sky Lounge. Follow me. So here we are now on the upper deck. This way we have an access to uh, the helm station and bridge. We'll come back to this uh, a little bit later. Here we have a dumbwaiter to facilitate the plates, transport. Here we have a day head. And now we are entering what is a very special place for this boat is the full beam sky lounge. The place is just uh, incredible because of its volume, but also, of course, because of its features. I've been a broker for almost 14 years, and this is the first time I see two uh, simulators for uh, race, race car driving. So that's very interesting. And it comes with the yacht if you're interested to purchase this vessel. Uh, you have a poker table here, arcade games here, and uh, this place wouldn't be completed without proper bar with uh, fridge and uh, wine cooler. And finally, you have an access to the aft deck here. <laughs> So now, on the aft deck of the upper deck, we have this very nice alfresco dining area. Up to 10 guests can have a nice, comfortable lunch or dinner here. Behind me, fridge and ice maker. Huge sitting area for at least 20, 20, 25 people. Entertainment system. As I said before, we are the charter manager for this boat and we had events with up to 120 guests on board for 43 meters that's really impressive because of the volume this boat is perfect for this kind of events whether it's in Cannes or Monaco or anywhere you like to summarize we have the sky, lo sky lounge here with a lot of toys a lot of entertainment here the aft deck alfresco dining sitting area with uh, entertainment but now the cherry on the top is definitely the sun deck which is I'm about to show you come and follow me So here we are now on the sun deck, which is one of the highlights of Anamia. As you can see, huge space that includes jacuzzi, which is very popular for guests. Just right next to the jacuzzi, we have massive sunbeds that uh, guests might use during cruising or at anchor, like right now. Here we have nice alfresco dining for eight. More sunbeds. And finally, one of the very cool features about this boat is this proper bar with the stools, ice maker, teppanyaki grill, and sink. And so you can have your chef to prepare your food while you're relaxing at the anchor or even cruising. So in addition to the sky lounge, the main deck aft, the upper deck aft, uh, and now the sun deck with this jacuzzi, sunbeds, alfresco dining and bar, I think you can get the picture that this boat has all amenities for the guests to spend a fantastic time on Anamia. Now, let's take a look at the bridge, which is nonetheless very important and very interesting on this yacht. So now here we are in the bridge. Anamia is powered with uh, Caterpillar engines, two times 1,950 horsepower. Uh, she can reach a maximum speed of 16 knots, a cruising speed of 14 knots. Now, at economy speed, uh, at 10 knots, she can have a transatlantic range uh, of 4,000 nautical miles. She has low engine hours, which is good considering her age. She's also stabilized with uh, zero-speed zero fin stabilizers. So here we have a, a sitting area where sometimes some guests like to sit and take a look at uh, the operations with the captain. Right next to it, we have the captain's cabin, where he spends uh, most of his uh, time when he's not uh, at the helm, which brings us to also uh, the crew area, which is very important uh, on a boat. And just like the rest of the yacht, the volume for the cabins of the guests are just uh, fantastic. And so it, it really helps 
uh, to keep the crew happy. As the saying goes, happy crew, happy owner, happy boat. And that's very important for, uh, for any owner to, to have a peace of mind that uh, his crew will spend uh, a good time uh, on board and uh, so he can, uh, he can have a good time as well. So now let's head out to the foredeck where we'll finish the tour. So here we are now on the foredeck. You have really nice sun pads where guests like to spend some time uh, relaxing with an obstructed view. Down over there we have a more of a technical area with uh, rescue tender, crane, storage for fenders, chain, anchors, etc. That's about it for the visit of Anamia. We really hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And uh, please uh, subscribe or comment if you like this video. And if you like to contact us, you have our contact details uh, just below in the description. Thank you and see you soon.